Now let's do the opposite. Here we're given a graph and we need to come up with a formula for this piecewise function. When you do this, I always look at the function and I see, okay, I have one, two, three, four different pieces to this function. So I know that I need to have space for those. So I'm going to draw little lines. You do not need to do this and you'll never see this in your book, but that just reminds me that I need to have four different pieces. So let's look at the first piece, the letter A part. We can see that this is a line. And remember that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. And one way that you can find the equation of a line is by the point slope formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So this is where you're using a point, x1, y1, and the slope is your m value. I'm going to review how to find equation of a line by working through this example, but if you're finding that you have forgotten how to find the equation of a line, because I know for some of you it's been a while, please feel free to reach out to me and I can easily take you to some great prerequisite videos that review how to find the equation of a line because this will be on the exam. All right, so looking at letter A, let's use the point slope formula to actually figure out the formula for this. So. I have to find two things, a point and a slope, to be able to substitute things into this formula. First thing I'm going to do is figure out the slope. So I'm going to go from this point to this point. So for the slope, I go down 2 and over 1. So my slope is negative 2 over 1, which is negative 2. You can see that happens for all of these values, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. And now I'm going to use this point. I could use any point on the graph, but I'm going to particularly choose that one because I have zero as my y value, and that makes it a lot simpler when we come to um, simplifying these. All right, so now let's use the point slope formula. So y minus y1, which is zero, equals m times x minus x1. And then we'll simplify this out, and I get y equals negative 2x, this becomes like it's a plus 5 because minus a negative is plus, so minus 10 once I distribute this negative 2 through. So the first piece, this part A, the formula for it is negative 2x minus 10. And again, notice I don't write y equals here because I already have this f of x written here. So it's negative 2x minus 10. And the domain of that is from x equals negative 8 to x equals negative 3, and we're including both of those. So we're going to say less than or equal to negative 8 and less than or equal to negative 3. The next piece is this B piece. So that is a line, that's a horizontal line, where the Y value is always negative 2. So, your X, so for all of the X values between negative 3 and negative 2, the formula is just negative 2 because the Y value is always negative 2. And there's closed circles there, so we need to just write these as not strict, so as just greater than and less than. Okay, let's look at this third piece. So this third piece is a line. We can see the slope is up 1 over 1, so our slope is 1. And in this case, with y equals mx plus b, that b is always your y-intercept. So I actually don't have to go through using this whole formula. I can just look here and see the equation of this line is going to be your slope is 1 and your y-intercept is negative 1. So the equation is just y equals 1x plus a negative 1, which is the same thing as minus 1. So for that piece, the equation is x minus 1. And that's if your x values are between negative 2 and we're including negative 2 because there's a closed circle there, and positive 2, and we're not including, including positive 2. And then for this last piece here, all right, so this is again a line, so I'm going to have to use the point-slope formula for it because I can't easily see what my y-intercept is like I could do in the third line. All right, so we need a slope and a point. So here our slope is down 1 over 2. So our slope is down 1 over 2, so negative 1 half. And then a point I'm going to use, again, you can use any point on this line. I'm going to use this one just because it gives me a y value of 0. OK, 
Okay, so here we go. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And now we just simplify. So we get Y equals negative 1 half X plus 3. And that's for your X values being between positive 2 and positive 8. And we're including both of those. 